so I don't want to waste your time so this video is just gonna be about shooting in slow motion so I don't know about you guys but prior to like two months ago I had no idea what like shooting in slow motion meant but after years and years of research ladies and gentlemen I think I think I've made a breakthrough so without further ado ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Or to shoot in slow motion, you have to understand how your camera first takes a video. So when your camera takes a video, it captures each individual moment as a frame. And depending on how many frames you have, that is the frame rate. So example, if you shoot at 24 frames a second, it means it captures 24 frames in, in one second. And if you shoot 60 frames a second, then it captures 60 frames in a second. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Now the standard frame rate for film is 24 or 25 frames a second because it gives you that nice... Wait, why exactly do we shoot in 24 frames a second? Oh, oh, it's because it gives like a nice motion blur. You see when I do this, it's like blurry. If I were to shoot at 30 frames a second, it'd look a little more natural. That's why filmmakers and people like that shoot in 24 frames a second, simply put. Now to shoot in slow motion, what you need to do, pretty simple, all you have to do is up your frame rate. So if you're going to export in 24 frames a second, then ideally you'd want to shoot from 60 frames or anything higher. So 60, 120, all that should be fine. Now you guys are probably asking yourselves, what's the huge difference between shooting in 24 frames and 60 frames a second? Now I'll explain that later, but for now, let's find something to film. Let's go. Before you start filming, make sure to change your frame rate to 60 frames a second. So I'll do that now. A few moments later. I think that should be enough clips, so let's go back in and make these clips slow motion. Let's go. Oh, hey there. Uh, that's right. You've never seen me in this position. That's because uh, I kind of got a, a new setup. Why is that? Well, you know when I was um, uh, moving, yeah, uh, I kind of got a new setup in the process. So if you guys want to see my setup, then um, uh, comment, um, hashtag Donald Trump in the comment section down below. Let's go. All right, so what you're going to want to do is open up your software of choice. For me, it's going to be Adobe Premiere Pro, and I don't know necessarily how to do it in other softwares, but you can always uh, YouTube it and figure out how to slow footage down in other softwares. But I use Premiere, so I'm going to be showing it in Premiere. So here I have the gorgeous clip of me attempting to skateboard. What you could do is just put it in um, your timeline and it'd start brand new and then you could slow it down that way, but that's, that's, not, that's not how you do it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make, go to file, new, and go to sequence. Now for your sequence settings, since I'm going to be exporting in 25, what am I saying, 24 frames a second, I am going to put it as this. It's just going to be sequence zero, and there are the sequences. Now instead of just dropping it in again, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click, you're going to want to hit modify, interpret footage. And here you see it says 59.9401. This is the frame rate that it's actually, and that's what it was shot at. And assume this frame rate, what you want to do is you're going to want to assume it to what you're going to be exporting it. For me, it's going to be 24 frames a second. And now when I hit it and I import it into my timeline now, you'll see it's twice as long. And it says here, this clip does not match sequence, blah, 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 blah. Keep existing settings. And now I'm just going to mute the audio because you don't want to hear it. If you look at it, it's in slow motion. Whoa, it's magic. Wow, just so beautiful, just too good. Oh, 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 yeah, um, uh, I booked that. <laughs> you know what, uh, we're done there. Now, the reason why it works like that is, you see, when you capture, when you shoot at 24 frames a second, 
in one second there's 24 individual moments when you do it at 60 frames a second what happens is in between every single frame it captures another moment so it captures even more movement and motion and stuff like that so when you play it back in slow motion it plays it back regularly so it's going to be smoother if if that makes any sense yeah that's that's basically the end of the video if you guys did enjoy the video then make sure to leave a thumbs up i, I i'm not quitting youtube guys i was just taking a little break so yeah i'll, I'll hopefully have another another video next week but anyways my name is Juvin. i'll catch you guys in the next video peace yeah.